CO2 injection dot lock. Okay. You can expand and you see the results for each time step, gem time step summary. Okay. Here we have size days, and then this is the Newton cycles, the days, date, pressure, and then the saturation, the composition, fraction, material balance error, and the sulfur iteration per cycle. Okay, it's very good. You see this one. This one is the number of days, okay? 30 days or 31 days. This is the, the week, week number 141 or others, okay? Let's go down to the bottom. This is the results, by the way. And later on, we will visualize this result in, in the results, okay? Result section of the CMG, okay? It's very interesting. And the calculation time is relatively simple by the way you can also do that here you touch this one right click and view log file or you can also directly double click here okay let's go to the bottom and let's see what happened okay so the last week is the this one and total number of times, Newton cycles, sulfur iterations, and then time step cuts, sulfur failure, zero, material balance error, quite small, implicitness, memory usage, only 67 megabytes, and others. Okay, so it's very, very, very good. All right. There's no problem during the simulation or the computation. Okay, so we can minimize and let's find dot SR3. Okay, SR3. So this will be the results file to be visualized. Okay, to be visualized. So I will again click this one, left button. I will drag it and drop it to the results. Results is the interface to show the visualization of the result to the plotting and others. Okay, so let's drop it to the results and wait for the results to be ready. All right, okay. So you see now the CO2 injection.sr3, the results file has been registered. And on the next video, we will, we will interpret and first we will visualize the result and we, we interpret the results. Okay, so I think we can call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on the next CMG for CO2 storage videos. Thank you.